Hello everyone! I am back with another cool tutorial. I am very excited for this week's theme which is around the world. There are so many beautiful countries in the world and I thought it would be amazing to create carnival masks. Many countries such as Brazil, Italy, Spain, Trinidad and many more create the best carnivals where people gather to celebrate and have many cool festivities. And why not create masks to celebrate the countries that we are from or would like to maybe explore one day. So let's get started. For the materials you're gonna need paint brushes, a pencil, and a black sharpie. You're going to need some glue, some scissors, feathers of any kind, any color, glitter, and most importantly, your paper plate and your preference of paint. So for the first step, you're going to grab your paper plate and your pencil and you're going to draw an outline of the eyes for your mask. It can be any shape, any width. And when you are done with that, we are going to begin to cut. As you can see, I drew my eyes and before we start cutting the eyes, we are going to grab our scissors and we are going to draw the shape of what's going to be where our nose is. And so I decided to go with a very simple cut and I did a kind of mustache kind of cut. And now when you are done, you're going to poke a hole onto both of the eyes. When you poke a hole into the eyes, it makes it easier for you to be able to cut the outline of the eyes. Now, I advise you if you cannot um, do this step, you can ask an adult for help because I know that it can be a little bit complicated. But if you want to challenge yourself, then feel free to do it. And so as you can see, I finished cutting the outline of the eyes and they are looking pretty good. For the next step, we are going to grab our preference color of paint and we are going to grab our plate. I decided to go with a nice light pink of acrylic paint. And I also have orange, yellow, green, and blue so it can add some more color and definition and so it can you can choose whatever color you want to choose you can be creative and choose as many colors as you want or you can go with a simple color and paint it one color it is however you want to do it and so i am going to grab the plate and grab my paintbrush and before i start to paint I'm gonna add a little bit of paint on the paper plate. And I'm going to begin to spread the paint around the plate. I like acrylic paint because a little goes a long way. And so, with the little that I just put, as you saw, you can see how I am spreading it around the plate. I 
I am only going to paint in the middle where the face is and just leave the outline of the plate white because that's where I'm going to put the feathers and so it won't be as visible. Now, if you do, you can also paint it that way or you can paint it completely however you want it. There is no right or wrong when painting your paper plate. Now that I am done, I am going to set my paintbrush aside and I'm going to show you guys a carnival mask that I had already done previously and I think that it is cool that you can be creative and show different ways of how you can do your mask. And so I decided to just use the paints that I showed you and I did a kind of paint swipe around the mask and I left it pretty clear and then I added the colorful feathers around. So I'm going to put the other paints to the side so that way I can begin gluing the feathers onto my paper plate. And so now we are going to start putting the feathers onto the plate. I have my yellow, purple, and green feathers on the side here. And now we are going to grab the glue stick and we are going to start adding glue little by little to the paper plate. As you can see, I am randomly putting the feathers onto the plate. There's no specific pattern that you are supposed to go by, but if you want to do a pattern, you can feel free to do so. There's no right or wrong.
And here you have it, guys. This is the final product of my carnival mask that we created together. I'm going to let it sit on the side because it is still wet. I just touched it and as you can see, it got on my hands. Um, I recommend you putting it for about two hours on the side so it can dry up. And if you want, you can add a popsicle stick on the back or you can create two holes on each side of the plate and attach an elastic band. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment down below. I am happy, feel free to answer any of your questions. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.